Ron knows stuff here. Mrs. Ron knows stuff there. And Coco down here. It's time to buy a new car. And I'm going to tell you how and what we experienced. Because Ron knows stuff. And Ron knows stuff. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share because it really helps us out. Anytime we get a new subscriber, we buy extra kibble for Coco. So let's feed our dog, shall we? Let's get into it. We went looking for a Nissan Pathfinder. Um, we chose that vehicle because it had a lot of the features we wanted, it had all the room, and it had a V6 with a regular transmission. We don't want a CVT and we don't want turbo. We want something that if we need to pull a light trailer, we can. Uh, but again, it has a lot of space in it. So it has three rows. So it has room for kids, dogs, luggage, you name it. It'll fit in there. Kids? Are you trying to tell me something? Yes. <laughs> you better not be. <laughs> grandkids. Oh, grandkids. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we went to three dealerships. Why? Well, because the market has shifted, but not all dealerships have. For example, this dealer number three, uh, I didn't show it on the sheet here, but they put market value on their worksheet and they put five $5,000 more than MSRP on the worksheet. So, Oh, they're calling it market value instead right. of MR MSRP. Right. Figures. And I will tell you that uh, all three of the Nissan dealerships had market value on theirs. Some of them put the MSRP there, but this one in particular put 45,000, 46,000 and change. Crazy. So, um let's talk about dealer number three on the list here so msrp was forty thousand eight fifty five dealer add-ons four thousand five hundred six dollars so that includes uh an extended warranty from a third party which they are not worth the paper that they're written on uh you will they will find loopholes on how to get out of it and or they'll underpay the mechanic the mechanic's going to be ticked off that he's not making full bank on it if they even pay it. Or they'll make the mechanic jump through hoops. There's a lot of YouTubes on there. I'm not a fan of extended warranties. If you like it, go ahead, but please do your research first. So that was one of their add ons. Uh, pinstriping. The pinstriping was tape that you can get at, at any of the auto parts store for seven bucks, and you can put it on yourself with. Uh, an, a roll of $1.50 uh, painter's tape and a level. So real easy to do, not worth the money they're asking. There was nitrogen in the tires, and um, they were doing uh, the dealer value package. They never did explain what that was, nor could they. There were wheel locks on it, but again, $5,000 worth of bloat, just not needed. But you can see, they discounted all but six dollars of it so now we're back to msrp um they gave uh, the trade-in was a car that um when i looked it up it was valued at maybe fifty seven hundred dollars but in reality i would say it was about a forty eight hundred dollar um value car uh, because it needed some work so it would be the dealer, whoever ha owns that, would have to put money into it before they can retail it for nine thousand and probably take seventy five hundred for it. So let's, for practical purposes, say the vehicle's worth forty nine hundred dollars. They were willing to give thirty five hundred dollars. They had dock fees of nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Dock fees are the recording, the tag, um, for this dealership, all, all sorts of things. And they all threw it onto a dock fee of $9.99. Tax, now in Florida, uh, you pay taxes based on your county. So some counties have a higher sales tax than the state of Florida. State of Florida sales tax is $6,000. Uh, 6%. 6%, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but like the county we live in, it's 7%. So for the first $5,000, you pay 7% tax on the first $5,000. Anything over that, you pay 6%. Okay? Got it. So that's the breakdown of all the taxes you're going to see. 
And then they have non-tax fees. Couldn't tell you what that was because they didn't break it down other than to say non-tax fees. So their price was $41,309.45. Um, in other words, they marked it up 1.11% over MSRP. Okay, now let's look at dealer number two. They didn't play any of the games. And as you can see, the, the price of the vehicle is the same as dealer number three. They didn't play any games. They discounted it $4,081.25. That, by the way, includes all rebates. All the discounts that we're talking about includes any rebates. Uh, some of them I let them know about. And you do need to do your research. Go to the manufacturer's website first to see what rebates there are and what the qualifiers are. So that brought it down. And then they gave a trade-in allowance of $1,500. So again, we said the car was worth realistically $4,800, $4,900. They're given $15. They have an electronic filing fee. What that means is that they're going to do like anybody else and shoot everything over via the internet. But they're going to charge. It's cheaper for them to shoot it over the internet than pay someone to go walk it to the courthouse and record it or the DMV and, and record it. Taxes. Self-explanatory. They charged a pre-delivery fee of $7.99. Now, what that is, is prepping the vehicle for us to pick it up. The manufacturer pays them already to do that. So this is a double dip. Um, total price, there you see it. Dollars off the MSRP. So basically, with the trade-in, we were getting 5.50% off MSRP. And that's kind of a way to think of it because so when you, you, you when got you, the taxes. When you talk about the total price, that's the out the, out out the, the door, door price. price. Yeah. Out the door price is all I'm talking about. And we're, it, it, the out the door price includes all taxes, includes all rebates. Tax tag title, you name it. Everything. So I'm driving it off the lot. I don't have to do a thing. Okay. So a 5.5% off our sales tax and all the other, you know, tags and registrations and all that, that's not bad, but it gets better. Dealer number one. So this was a more expensive vehicle by, what is it? Oh, not quite a thousand dollars, $955. Did it have more features? It did. It had more, it's a legitimate MSRP. Okay. Because they did have dealer add-on sticker for $3,995, but they discounted it $7,818.93. Now, I should also tell you that we told dealer number two and number three that we were going to other places, just like we told dealer number one. And we told dealer number three, the highest price one, what dealer number one's offer was because we'd rather shop with dealer number three because they're local and you try and support your local economy. Okay, let's go back to dealer number one. Let's walk okay. down the deal. So, uh, selling price. 38.9. Um, trade in allowance, $7,500. Again, the vehicles are worth about $4,800 to $4,900. They did charge a, a dock fee, an electronic filing fee, a private tag agency fee. So in Florida, uh, anybody can register, well, not anybody, but a business can register, dealers do, as a private tag agency. So they are a reseller of license plates. They're breaking it out the cost. Um, there's the tax. Uh, they do charge a transfer fee of $350 and a non-tax fee of $350. Well, part of that was taken into that trade-in allowance. I'm sure they well, deducted it. And, and this is the point. I'm glad you brought that up. The point I'm trying to make here is don't get caught up in all these little numbers. You need to know them, but the most important number you're, you're concerned with is the out-the-door price. And even though this guy had the most fees and most stuff, he had the biggest discounts. It was $6,950 off MSRP. That is a discount off MSRP of 16.65%. That's a really good price for the vehicle. 
a phenomenal price, especially when you compare that dealer number three wanted 1.11% over MSRP. We called up dealer number three and said, look, you're in our backyard. And we even showed them the, the, the worksheet. And they just, this was their best price. That's what they said. They, they were confident that they could sell, if not to us, the vehicle to someone else. But there's something they said about the deal that you were getting. I don't remember. What was it? Go take it. That's a great deal. Oh. They said, go get that deal. Oh, that must have been to you because they didn't say that to me. So at dealer number three, I pointed out to them that their vehicle uh, that we were interested in has been on their lot since July. And this deal happened in, in the end of May. By the way, always buy at the end of the month. You get better deals. Um, I said, you know, that, that's been on your lot. And you've, been pay, you've been paying uh, your floor plan on that since July of 2023. Don't you want me to help you get that off your lot? They didn't. They didn't want to budge. So the moral of this story is, yes, it's time to buy a new car. Dealers are dealing right now. And I think as the year continues, they'll be getting more and more aggressive. By the way, this was 2.9% financing. And what year vehicle? 2024. So you can get the deals, but you've got to work for and it. And be patient. Be patient. It uh, wasn't done in a day or two days no. of that. It was a, a week or two. Right. We started in April looking and, and, and really starting to compare prices, working down the models, test driving which one we liked. Um, if we didn't get the Pathfinder, uh, we were also looking at the um, Palisade and the Telluride and uh, the Honda Pilot was like the fourth choice just because of the room and um, you know the, the engines involved. Honda's turbocharged, but it's a Honda. So remember to like, subscribe, and share. Made by Ford Press. Made by Ford Press. They do excellent. They do excellent work. Quality customer service. Not sponsored in any way, but I like to recognize businesses that do great jobs. So they're here in Florida, Ford Press, F O R D. So, Ron knows stuff, Mrs. Ron knows stuff, Coco knows stuff, and now you know stuff too. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Bye for now. Bye.